My whole body was heavy. Even the two hands holding the hilt did not move properly. Where did the troops who were supposed to come to support them go? You must have run away right away. Damn, it's just us. Then how do you stop those monstrous bitches? Damn you guys for abandoning us all. Unlike humans round ears, knights with elongated ears gradually approached me. Elf, it is a race famous for having a much longer lifespan and a more beautiful appearance than other races. They like cute and beautiful things, and was known to love peace and eternity. However, the common sense I knew was destroyed on this day. Retreat, retreat. The elves with weapons began a one-sided offensive. Surrounded, soldiers betrayed by their allies were busy throwing down their weapons and surrendering volunteers to become slaves of the elves. Since it was difficult to return alive, he decided to surrender with the determination to preserve his life. Even warlike elves, who love war and fighting, are merciful to prisoners of war. It was because the country of the elves was a country that was run around slavery. Prisoners of war were slaves and laborers with very valuable value, so I know that they were treated very politely until they were sent to the elven country and sold in the slave market. Everyone retreat. I stand last. Didn't we all decide to die and live together? He shouted. I wanted to express my gratitude for the comradeship of my subordinates. But now was not the time to show off comradeship. I sincerely hoped that my subordinates would abandon me and run away. After fighting the Ardina warrior chief, we fought non-stop day and night for three days. It looks like you've exhausted yourself in the end, seeing that you can't even hold a sword properly. Even a strong man called the Seven Swords of the Kingdom will eventually have a limit on his physical strength. Elf female knights approached. Knights of Helenwood. They were the elite knights in the country of the elves and the subordinates of Ardina, the warrior leader whom he had defeated in a duel. It seemed that his subordinates were out to avenge the disgrace the captain had suffered. The elves were as loyal as our men. It seemed that they were planning to catch me and bring me to Ardina. Even if my life crosses Valhalla, I won't die easily from your demons. He shouted as he took off his helmet. The elves firmly gripped the hilt. Dozens of elven knights attacked me sequentially, exhausting my stamina. I hate to admit it, but I had to admit it. Elf knights were pros at war. He knew how to subdue his opponent. It must be a fighting method derived from the experience gained from traveling through numerous battlefields. In the end, I was taken prisoner by the elves after fighting for half a day in a state where my whole body was numb. To hold out for half a day, it's rather advantageous to capture the swordsmen of the six swords called the Seven Swords of the Kingdom. There are as many comrades in arms injured by this human as there are trees in the forest. Not a benefit. Whatever it is, I'm glad I was able to catch it. The elven knights looked down at me as I collapsed, exhausted, and began to speak. Soon after, the handcuffs were put on. It seemed to be a special handcuff with the ability to suppress the mana flowing through the body. Even if it wasn't, I felt that my body, which was on the verge of exhaustion, became more lethargic. Before losing consciousness, I shouted, pouring out my remaining feeble strength. Humans are defeated. The war started due to the reckless greed of humans, but in the end, it was the elves who won the war. In the war, thousands of human prisoners were turned into slaves by the elves. Of course, I was included among those prisoners. Yushin, who was captured by the elves, was transported in a carriage unlike the other captives, with both hands restrained. They planned to transport us across the mountain range to the elven country. To go to Liberia, the country of the elves, you must cross the Aquitaine Mountains. The place where the battle with the Kingdom of Valwa, a nation of humans, took place was in the area close to the Aquitaine Mountains. After the elves confined themselves to the wagon, they tried to return to the country of the elves by dragging the captives captured on the battlefield. You are all going to be sold at a slave auction. I'm sure it will be sold at a high price this time too. And you will be sold for an absurd amount. Thank you for that. Yushin answered the words of the elf knight who was riding in the carriage. Of course, he answered that. But he didn't forget to say, Get out of the way, you big-eared bitches. He said, I heard that you took down the Ardina warrior chief. It's not normal luck to defeat a strong person among the five fingers of our country of elves. The elf knight evaluated Yushin's defeat of the Ardina warrior chief as lucky. Cannot believe it. There's no way the warrior general will be defeated by the likes of you. Yushin shrugged his shoulders at the words of the elf female priest who spoke while distorting his face. In the end, he ended up being a prisoner anyway. There was nothing to be proud of in the slightest even if they had won the battlefield. I heard that some knights in the kingdom voluntarily became prisoners, saying that they would become for the elves. Well, it might not seem bad to live while being teased by elves made up of beautiful women. Of course not me. 
the race of elves has a very deformed gender ratio, consisting of two males and eight females. The chances of being born male are very low. So, the elves invaded the neighboring kingdom of Valua and supplied the men they needed through force. It was because slaves were needed somehow for the labor force. The elves' country was famous for slavery being more prevalent than the human country. A woman's voice was heard from outside the carriage. She seemed to be a knight in command of the procession of prisoners. Of course Yushin couldn't go out. The carriage stopped for a moment, but there was no opening of the tightly closed windows or kindly releasing the handcuffs. This is because the highest class slave captured in battle, Yushin Gilead, was the slave to be traded at the highest price. How are the slaves? Maybe it's because he's handcuffed, so he's quiet. It will definitely be sold at an exorbitant price. It's less about money worries. Since our knights and the elves from your forest captured it, let's split it in half. Great. I could hear the elves talking. I listened and overheard the conversation. The money sold as slaves at the auction is said to be given to the unit that captured the prisoners and transported them to the elven country. In other words, this unit, which was transporting prisoners from the Yuzin and Knights, seized an opportunity to make a fortune. Fuck, the moment I go to the country of elves, I will become a living dildo, even for the lover who will be waiting for her in her hometown. Of course, she doesn't have a lover, but she refuses to live a life of slavery in the country of elves. The moment you go to the elf country, a harsh and harsh slave life will be waiting for you. Of course, in the case of Yuzin, unlike other slaves who are classified as simple labor, they will be treated as sex slaves to inherit excellent genes. This is because high-ranking swordsmen with six swords are not very common. Damn handcuffs. The elf knight who was watching got off the wagon for a while. Yushin, who was left alone for a moment, tried to tear off his handcuffs while moving his hands as hard as he could. However, his sturdy handcuffs could not be torn off so easily. Rather, it only hurts my arm. Perhaps it was the special handcuffs that had the effect of cutting off mana control, and it was impossible to even radiate mana from both hands. Is it a special handcuff that cuts off mana? I'm sure it's something humans used to deal with slaves of different races in the past. Is this him? As I've heard, it's black hair. I've heard that humans have black hair, but this is the first time I've actually seen it. If you conceive a baby from that human, will a half-elf with black hair be born? I don't like half-penny half-elves, but if I inherit that human's talent and become a swordsman with six swords, it will be of great help to the country of elves. I could hear the elves whispering as they opened the carriage door. Can I have a taste of it for a minute? If you receive the semen of your virginity into your womb, the chance of inheriting your innate talents and abilities increases. So it's expensive if it's a six-sword mirror, even noble families will have their eyes on it. There will definitely be a bloody battle at the auction option. Then it won't work. The green-haired elf grumbled. Yushin let out a deep sigh. She was out of danger of getting f***ed. How many times have you been targeted by elves who have gone mad with lust? It's wrong to die gracefully. How are the guys who recklessly rushed into the elves saying they would become slaves? I never thought I'd be one of those idiots' companions. Yushin remembers her fellow knights who voluntarily charged into the country of elves, saying that she would become the of the elves. Crazy guys. I laughed out loud at the time. Captain, Captain. Someone whispered. Then there was a soft knocking on the carriage window. Are you moving? Were you alive? The name of the young man whose face was reflected in the window was Asana. He was Yushin's deputy, who was the unit commander. Asana had a key that was the only way to unlock the handcuffs that bound Yushin's hands. It didn't matter how he got it. The most important thing now was to be released from this damn bondage. I was able to safely obtain the key while the elves who fell for my narration were seduced. The elf knight who stood guard in the wagon must have kept the key. Good job, if you go back to your home country, it's a first-class special promotion. It's all over, you long-legged people. Yushin kicked the door. Yushin, who was safely released from restraint, broke the wagon and came out with a wild cry. Where the hell did Heine go? I heard Heine kept the key. Stop. Don't let that slave run away. They even reported to the superiors that they had captured the seven swords of the kingdom. The elves drew their swords. At the same time, the captives who obediently obeyed began to act in sympathy with Yuzin. Unlike Yushin, who were restrained with handcuffs and shackles, ordinary prisoners were simply tied with ropes. Thanks to this, the prisoners who secretly cut the rope were freed from the elves' violence. Leader, Isana shouted. As he threw his sword, he passed it to Yushin. Good work, Isana. Receiving the longsword, Yushin radiated Blue Sword River and made the surrounding elves retreat. Six Knights of the Sword 
the monster that defeated the warrior chief. The elves looked at Yushin, who was safely released, with fearful eyes. Looking at each other, we didn't dare to run. If you thought that we humans would be taken to your elven country quietly, it would be a big mistake. We are the soldiers of Lieutenant General Yushin Gilead. Coming and tenacity in the kingdom is second to none. All of his men were also released. Although empty-handed, his bare fists were enough to knock the elf down. A total of 30 people were released from captivity. All of them were officers and soldiers under Yushin's command. They turned their backs on each other and confronted the elves with swords. Stay with the captain. Even an elf can't beat our commander. Elves and prisoners confronted each other, while sending hostility to each other and confronting each other for a while. A person who overturned the game in favor of humans appeared from behind the elves. Ardina warrior leader. Hey, the Knights of Helenwood. The elves shouted. Elven knights in light leather armor appeared at the scene of the confrontation. Likewise, an elf with blonde hair and a clean appearance stood in the center. The elf woman, with sharp eyes like a hunter and expressionless expression like a cold mask, showed cold anger as she glared at Yushin. Why is that woman here? She must have left for the elves' country first. The warrior chief of the Liberia elves, Ardina, in the kingdom of Valua, a country of humans, he was a high-ranking and dangerous elven warrior who was nicknamed Relentless Hunter. The warrior commander, Ardina, had a history of being defeated by Yushin. The warrior commander, who left Yushin's recruits in the follow-up unit and returned to the elf country first, stormed the confrontation with her direct subordinates, the Helen Wood Knights. Warrior Captain Ardina. Her real name is Ardina Valencia. She is one of the twelve warriors who protect the elven country. She is the leader of the Helen Wood Knights and was also a warrior who commanded the battle on the border with the kingdom of Valwa some time ago. In a fight with Yushin, who is called the Seven Swords of the Kingdom, she was defeated, but eventually regained her honor by capturing Yushin. Warrior Commander Ardina was an opponent that was too daunting to defeat with a normal longsword. It is fortunate that she did not fall in one blow. Yushin lost after dozens of sums. He tasted the bitter taste of defeat against an opponent he had once won. At the same time as the longsword was broken, the prisoner rebellion was suppressed by the Knights of Helenwood. Redeem again, Ardina said. It was a husky voice suitable for a fierce elf knight. The female knights of Helenwood struck down Yushin's subordinates. Her men fiercely resisted, but they were no match for the fully armed elven knights. Eventually, the escape plan collapsed. Human. As Ardina was subdued by the elves, she looked down at Yushin, who was once again stuffed into her restraining sphere. It was an arrogant attitude. With her gorgeous blonde hair hanging down to her waist, her emerald eyes glittered like jewels. Among the elf race made up of beautiful girls and beauties, Ardina was one of the most beautiful. Judging by her noble appearance, she seemed to be from a noble elf belonging to the upper class among elves. Why did Ardina appear at this moment, right now? It was natural that Ardina, the culprit behind the failure of the rebellion, was resentful. Because of her, they'll be taken to the city of the elves and put up for a slave auction with her price tag tied. You beat me. Although we are now in a position of opposition, the fact that you defeated me, the warrior chief of the elf country, remains intact. She ordered the elven knights to put Yushin back in her wagon. Her doors were torn off, but her cartwheels were intact. Ardina said she would personally escort the procession of her prisoners. Isana shouted. His arms were already tied with ropes. That's why I told you to leave me and run away. Why didn't you listen and stay on the battlefield and become a prisoner? Well, how could we abandon the captain and leave? I will definitely save the captain someday, Isana exclaimed excitedly. But that fighting spirit didn't last long. It was because the elves, who found out that Isana was the instigator of the rebellion, tried to kill him. He held up a sharp dagger. It seemed that he was intending to rip Isana's head alive with that sharp dagger. Unlike Yushin, who would become the highest class slave, Isana was just an ordinary slave, so he had nothing to regret even if he was killed right now. Stop it, you motherfucking bitch. Yushin shouted. With his entire body tied to his restraints, he vomited his murderous intent toward the elves. His subordinate dies. You will die at the hands of the elves. Yushin shouted at the elf holding the dagger. I will kill you. My subordinates have nothing to do with it. If you touch my subordinate, I will surely kill you. Even while being subdued by the elves, Yushin struggled desperately. The elf raised the dagger without hesitation despite Yushin's screams. I'm thinking of cutting him down. The sharp tip of the sword aimed at Asana's neck. It seemed that it would pierce her neck at once and end her life. Stop. Ardina came out. She restrained her elf's hand as she reached out and raised her dagger. The prisoner is the property of the elf country. It was you who took the prisoners, but from the moment they crossed the border, they became the property of the Liberia elves. Did you forget that fact? Whether it was hypocrisy or whatever, Asana's life was saved thanks to Ardina. 
A commander who couldn't even protect her life properly could not call her a hypocrite. Rise up, Ordina said. After being subdued by the elves, Yushin buried his face in the mud was finally able to raise his head. He spat out the dirt in his mouth. It ended up being a mess, but as long as the subordinates were safe, that was fine. The shirt, which was nothing more than a cloth, was torn. A tattoo on her left shoulder was then revealed. The elves who saw the tattoo were amazed. Stigmata, then that human, possessed the authority of a god. Ardina confirmed that her own predictions were correct. Stigma, those who have been endowed with power by god. Commonly, they are known as the other world, a type of alien world that has nothing to do with this world. And those of the other world were famous for being empowered by the gods. Powers are very diverse. It was impossible to pinpoint one. However, in the case of Yushin, it was a very simple power, and the identity of that power was recorded in the Red Stigma. The Realm of Swordsmanship, Ardina muttered. The characters written on the stigma were ancient characters, but Ardina, who was the warrior chief of the elven country, interpreted them without difficulty. Skill with a sword. It was a very simple power that was not available at this time, but it was so easy to manifest. Among the many different types of people who possess stigmata, anyone could be greedy for the power possessed by Yushin. If only I had one more year, Ardina murmured softly. After staring at Yushin's stigma for a while, she ordered the elves to drag her away and looked away. Ardina, Yushin shouted. At that cry, Ardina's steps came to a sudden halt. But then it moved again. As if she had found out all she wanted to know, she walked with her back turned to the man who had given her defeat. Perhaps the most famous city for the slave trade in the elves of Liberia is Pamplona, located in the northeast. Since it is close to the Aquitaine Mountains, which serve to divide the border with the Kingdom of Valois, the country of humans, most of the prisoners of war who cross the mountain range are headed for Pamplona, and the elves traded the captive humans in Pamplona as slaves. Father, is the rumor true? Rumor has it that a human swordsman who has reached six speculums will be auctioned off, Letitia asked. He said yes. Didn't the other nobles hear the news and quickly come to Pamplona? All of the nobles who rushed to Pamplona coveted a human swordsman who had instantly become famous for defeating the warrior chief Ardina. It is said that the elf country encourages interbreeding between elves and humans in order to increase its population. But this only applies to ordinary elves who make up the majority of the country's population. The high elves are descendants of the prophet who performed the ritual on Beriah, the world tree. A noble descendant cannot put the blood of filthy humans into his family, so the high elves considered it taboo to accept human seed. I can't believe that the human swordsman who defeated the warrior chief Ardina will be taken prisoner. Ardina was a warrior in the fourth position among the twelve warrior commanders. He was the heir to the Valencian forest, a high elf family, and he was a warrior commander with a promising future, rumors circulating that he would one day become a royal knight serving the priest. The news that such a warrior chief was defeated by a human swordsman came as a great shock to the elven society. I want to get my hands on it. Even the swordsmanship of that slave. Slaves belong to the master. The master who purchases him deserves to monopolize the slave's excellent swordsmanship. It got noisy outside. The voices of countless elves. It seemed that the auction had begun. Yu Shin, who was scratching the choker around his neck, tried not to lose hope even in the situation of a slope. However, in this auction house full of elves, there was no way to do anything. They were destined to be sold. Okay then, let's start the biggest auction ever. As the nobles who gratefully gathered at the auction house may have already heard, today's auction house has received very valuable items airlifted from the kingdom of Valois. The female host exclaimed. Yushin, dressed in clean clothes, walked up to the stage. In an instant, the crowd reacted. The elven aristocrats watching the stage held expectations in their eyes as if something had come. 6. Examination of the Speculum A knight from the Kingdom of Valois who defeated Ardina, the warrior commander. Kingdom Seven Swords A male with black hair and black eyes, which is very rare on the continent. And pity, all of these were characteristics that greatly increased the ransom of a man named Yushin Gilead. 1.03 billion 1.1 billion 1.2 Yushin, who was watching the not-so-funny auction scene from the stage, murmured, That's more than my entire fortune. A whopping 3 billion the crowd was overwhelmed by a middle-aged man who called for three billion one to purchase a slave. A man with a mustache, violent Santander. He was the owner of the forest of Santander and one of the few elven people in Liberia. 
He looked at the crowd with a victor's smile, as if he thought he'd nailed the auction. Four billion. When everyone was expecting Violin Santander to become the owner of Yushin Gillard, a woman took a number ticket. She was the woman who quietly watched behind Violin and Letitia. Ardina Valencia. As the warrior chief of the Liberia Elf Bureau, she took up her number and called in a large amount that exceeded the amount Violin called for her. The atmosphere of the auction house turned hot again. Four billion. Four billion came out. The presenter shouted, Forest of Valencia. It is a port city located in the eastern part of the elven country of Liberia. The current port city, Valencia, was built in the process of driving out the demons who were the natives of the elves who migrated to the Liberia Peninsula to escape the persecution of humans. Valencia was reaping a lot of profits by cultivating oranges and olives on land and building ships and shipyards on the sea. My men said that mustachioed bastard bought them all. I don't know why. Ardina answered Yushin's question. Yushin's subordinates are elite soldiers who are said to be among the best in the kingdom of Valwa. But even so, it was strange. So, when are you going to release this? Yushin asked. He pointed to the choker around his neck. Just activate the spell and his head will turn into porridge and die. It was a shackle composed of a monstrous structure in which the magic of the brain attribute imprinted on the choker struck the head in response to a signal. Someday, someday, when? You are tenacious. Because I am human. Be quiet before activating the spell. Yes, Yushin became a calm cat. I decided to hold back my curiosity as to whether or not he wanted to become a Weldon with his head overcooked in an electric grill. I want to see my men in person. One week later, I will make an appointment with the Santander Forest. Thank you. Ardina and Yushin moved from the slave city of Pamplona to Valencia by carriage. In the process, Yushin repeatedly looked for opportunities to escape. But it all ended in failure. As long as Ardina had the stamp of obedience on her hand, it was impossible to escape from the surveillance of the elven warrior commander. And it's information that I've only learned now. But since the choker and the imprint of obedience are connected to each other through mana passes, it is said that the slave's location can be found at any time. Don't come too close. Stab. Poking a beauty is my specialty. Yushin threw a joke that was not trivial. The forest of Valencia was a port city with a vast expanse of blue sea. Total population 30,000. Elves and humans, as well as half-elves, were living there. Valencia had many high-rise buildings, probably because of the adoption of human construction technology. Even so, there were green trees growing in the middle. A green city where the cultures of humans and elves coexist was born. I could see laborers unloading supplies from ships docked at the shipyard. There were also elves and half-elves, but most of the laborers were human. Was it sold to a slave trader, or was it captured and enslaved in the war like the Yushin? Humans with their own stories could be seen everywhere. What do you think of the offer? Ardina asked. Yushin replied to that. Rejection. Now, although I fell into slavery, I am a knight of the kingdom of Valwa. I cannot teach the high elves of the enemy country, the elven country, swordsmanship and mana breathing. However, I want you to consider my position in investing five billion either. Even if alone follows me and becomes a warrior of the elven country, that will happen 100 years from now. Alone is still young. There will be no damage to your honor. It is a difficult request. I'll think about it. Yushin and Ardina were walking down the street looking at the dock in Valencia. After the carriage arrives in the Valencian forest, Ardina gave Yushin a tour of her clan's territory, the Valencian forest. Ardina Sama, an elf who seemed to be the owner of the trade ships docked at the dock approached. Her waist-length brown hair was tied with a red ribbon, and she wore a red velvet coat over her top. But the only thing she wore was a thick coat. The clothes underneath were exposed enough to draw attention naturally. The bra that covered her white breasts was clearly exposed from the loose shirt, and the pants she wore underneath were open on both sides, so you could tell she was wearing red tea panties. But who is this human? A slave purchased at the Pamplona auction house. Slave. Now Ardina has opened her eyes to slavery. Slavery is good, listens well and is obedient. Sometimes it's nice to have a taste for rebellion. An elf dressed as a captain of a ship spoke. I blinked both eyes. Seeing her eyes, Yushin put on a puzzled expression. I could clearly see how the elves thought of their slaves. Of course, that would be the same for humans, so he decided not to care. The wedding was blocked because of the oath of invincibility, but now it seems that you are trying to let go of your sexual desire. That's a good choice. Slaves in the forest are less likely to spread rumors. Scarlet, it's not like that. Ardina shouted. Perhaps these words were too stimulating for her 320-year-old virgin elf. There are already rumors in the forest of Valencia that Ardina Nim was defeated in a duel. This Valencia is a place where many merchants come and go. Okay, I lost to this man, Yushin Gilead. Can I call you Yushin? 
I was surprised to hear your story. Scarlet stared at Yushin's face as her brown eyes flashed. It is clear that he is strong. It is understandable that Ardina Sama was defeated. Scarlet, trained through years of experience, intuitively sensed that she should never attack the human in front of her. Now let's go to the castle. It is time for Alone to return, Ardina said. Saying that her sister is about to return from the academy, she called Yushin, who had been held captive by Scarlet. Yushin took a step back. Scarlet reacted very regretfully. He is a human with strong genes. It was an elven woman's instinct and responsibility to receive such a human baby seed and inherit her excellent genes. Scarlet felt strongly about her desire that she should carry superior genes into her womb. The man in front of her was a human with the best genes among the males she had ever seen. Ardina Sama, can you lend me that human for a day? Refuse. At Ardina's knife-like refusal, Scarlet made an even more troubled expression. She wanted to see it with her own two eyes, whether this human is suitable for her sister alone's educational role. It cost an astronomical amount of 5 billion etha to obtain Yushin, but Ardina didn't care. Money can be earned again later. Ardina had more important things than money. You said you were teaching me. Hey, I consider it an honor to teach me, a high elf. He's an annoying kid. Yushin, who saw Alone's tapping, felt that her head was already hurting. Unlike her other elves, Alone does not respond to mana through her skin. She teaches humans to breathe mana, not elves' mana breath. Of course it is possible. Humans and elves have very similar body structures. There won't be such an embarrassment if rumors spread that the high elf lady of the Valencian forest failed the academy's graduation exam. Oh, sister, this slave has a really bad personality. Return it immediately. I have never seen a human slave so disrespectful to a high elf. The high elves were the first class in the Liberia elves caste system, and humans, mostly slaves, are the fourth class. The second class are elves, and the third class are half-elves. Alone expressed her dissatisfaction by pouting her lips, as if her heart was hurt that she was brutally assaulted by a fourth-class human. Ardina looked straight at Alone. Seeing those serious eyes, Alone let out a gasping sound. I desperately need Yushin's help to pass the academy's graduation exam. I think now is the time for you to bow your head and ask for a favor. Yushin. Yushin was quite surprised that Ardina called her by her own name for the first time. Learning human skills is not taboo. We elves made the present country of elves by accepting human technology and civilization. Okay, sister, you can do it. Alone pouted her lips and approached Yushin with a grunt. Sister, this slave seems to have a really bad personality. That will be all for now. I hope you find this story interesting. Leave a like, subscribe and enable notifications so you won't miss the next part of this story. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.